This is a Microsoft Excel 2010 video about uh, creating an equipment database. This is part six in the series, and it is about error checking. We go here to our spreadsheet, and we'll start out here going to the uh, lamp list. And here we're going to uh, do some error checking on uh, missing costs. And this would be something that would come from the uh, LAMP list database. We're going to go in and uh, look at the extended uh, cost here. We're doing the LAMPs that are just for this um, particular spreadsheet. We're going to go to conditional formatting, we'll manage the rules. And this is um, what we're seeing in there right now for uh, formatting. And that is that if the cell value is uh, greater than zero, we're going to uh, shade the cell green. And what we're going to do here is add a, a new rule. And uh, this rule is uh, going to use a formula. And the formula is going to be, we're going to look at two conditions. And one is that the total of lamps over in column B and here I'm going to write at this point take that dollar sign out from in front of the uh, row number because we want this uh, formula to be extensible as we copy it in on the sheet and uh, this is going to be greater than zero so that means we have a value in the total number of lamps and then we're going to put the uh, other condition in here, which is going to be that the extended value, which is what's in this column, okay, and again, taking out that dollar sign. And we're going to put that this one is equal to zero. And close the parentheses. So what we're doing here is uh, saying that if the fixture count has been totaled up and when we multiply by the cost, we get zero. It means that we didn't have any cost, which means that somewhere in the LAMP database, we're missing uh, a cost. And so for our format here, we're just going to fill the cell with red. And hit OK. And now we can see that this has put this here on the top of the list for this formatting. What we're going to do is stop if true, meaning that if uh, we have that error condition, uh, it'll go red and it won't go to the green step. So that would be the stop if true. So then we'll hit apply. OK. And uh, now I'm going to just check the rule out here for a minute. And, uh, copy it down this far and let's say that um, we deleted this you can see that it turns red and I'm going to undo that and it's back to green so that works and I'm going to copy that format all the way down to the rest of the rows that I've put in here go right down to the bottom so anywhere down there just to look at it we'll take a look here see what we've got in the uh, conditional formatting you can see I have that same rule and it's applying to all the uh, cells that we copied it to 2 through uh, 51 now I'm going to close that so that's a way of checking uh, to make sure that uh, when we're costing this thing out that we don't end up with missing values because of uh, a value missing in the uh, LAMP database now the next thing we're going to check is to see that we have the right total number of fixtures, that everything, the formula worked and brought everything over here from the uh, uh, first uh, sheet that we had a list of all the rooms. So on this one we're going to go and hit the auto sum, and this is going to total uh, everything in this column. Make sure that it goes right up to what we want, and it does. So we'll click hit enter. We can see that it adds up to uh, 51. Then we're going to go back over to the first sheet and 
we're going to do that same thing. Let's go to the bottom here. And in this cell, we're going to hit the auto sum. So we didn't find the numbers at the top of it, so we didn't know what to do. We click up there, and then we're just going to select this whole column. And go right up to the top. And click Enter. And this one ends up with a 51 also. Now, uh, in order to check to make sure that those two are equal, we're going to go up here and we'll set a little area for an error message. And I'm going to just take these cells right here, merge and center those, and format whatever text was in them to align left. Now in this cell, uh, I'm going to put a conditional formula. So let's see the if statement, which we used before. And now we're going to go and um, see, say that if the value we calculated in this one, there's some here, okay, is not equal. To the sum on the line left sheet to this one. Then and that comes after the comma value if true. So our value here is going to be an error message. So that will be our error message that will show up. <clears throat> and then the other part of the condition is what we do if if not. And if not, we're just going to have uh, a null in that space and we'll close the parentheses and that's our formula so the way that this would happen would be if we ended up with something here that um, just didn't match up with anything in the lamp list so we can check that by putting and we get an error because the uh, lamp list would not be able to find any lamp code for that. So I'm going to undo that. And uh, so that's how the error message would work. And this will pick that up. And then I'm going to just use the uh, conditional formatting here to do a little extra for that. And what I'm going to do is um, so I'm going to give this uh, cell a particular format. So I'm going to go to conditional formatting and uh, new rule. And here we're going to go with format cells, only cells that contain. And here we're going to go uh, specific text containing. And we're just going to put in error. And I'm going to set the format to like fill. That's red. And hit OK. And one more time, we'll try that uh, error test. And we'll see how this shows up. So that kind of helps to highlight the error, make sure that I uh, notice that we don't think it just uh, belongs there. Again, I'm going to undo that. Okay, now we're going to do a little work on the fixture uh, schedule. And as we're setting this up, going through here, setting up the whole thing, we're going to want to make sure that we don't leave out um, some important things. So as we go in here, we're going to make sure that um, when we put an entry in here for a fixture code, that we do put in the lamp code and the uh, number of lamps per fixture. So on the lamp code, so here on the lamp code, we're going to do some uh, conditional formatting. There aren't any rules in there now. We're going to add a new rule, and this will be uh, using a formula. And the formula here will be that 
that equals n, two things combined. Here we're going to look at that um, the fixture code. We have put a fixture code in there, so it's not equal to zero. And the other thing, part of this condition, is the lamp code that's in there is, which is this cell, is equal to null. Okay, of course, the parentheses. And basically, what that is saying is that. You would, no, but you didn't put a lamp code in. So during normal data entry, this is going to get this format, and then when you put the lamp code in, it'll, it'll get rid of that format. So here we're just going to set that format to a fill of, let's just do this with, say, orange. And then, um, OK. And one thing we want to do there is we're going to edit that rule and we're going to make sure that uh, we take out that dollar sign. Hit OK. Now we're also going to make sure that we do the same type of thing with uh, over here on the lamps per fixture. We're going to conditional formatting, image rules, no rule. Here I'm going to set the format to just uh, yellow. And that one we should be able to check pretty easily by just as soon as we delete the number, it turns yellow. Okay, I'm going to take both of these and I'm going to um, and just take a look down here at the formatting. And I'm going to do the same thing with Okay, so any of these cells, as we're putting them in, if we leave out those numbers, we'll have highlighted cells that'll show us um, what's going on there. Now, um, we're going to go back to the fixtures by room, and we're going to do basically uh, the same thing over here. Here, we're going to pick on two of these columns, and uh, if we don't have stuff in those, then um, we're going to... Uh, have it give us an error message in the same kind of using the conditional for, conditional formatting in this particular case. I would assume that the room number, once we put it in, that we're expecting a fixture code. And um, so what we're going to do here is uh, put in a, a similar kind of a uh, error checking on this one. Formula and I'm going to use the same format here that I used in the other one. And over here we want to make sure that we put a number of fixtures in. So we'll do that here. And so if we go here and uh, take out that fixture code, we get orange. If we go here and take out the number of fixtures, we get yellow. And I'm just going to, uh, again, spread that to all the other cells.
Now I'm copying this to all the other cells. Final step here, and that is that if we uh, uncheck one of these room entries because we don't want to add it up into the total, we'd like to um, format uh, the rest of the row in such a way that doesn't uh, you can know we have something that gives us good indication. So we're going to take this whole row and we're going to go to conditional formatting and um, you see a couple of rules that are in there now. We're going to add a uh, rule and this rule is um, based on a formula. We're going to say that uh, well, that we're this cell. I'm going to go to a formula. I'm going to say that when there's a number in the room number, okay, so I'm going to say when this cell is not equal to a null, then it's empty. And this cell, which has the x in it, is equal to that null, meaning it's empty. That's going to be the condition that we're going to format this cell. And we're going to uh, set that format to be a fill of uh, white gray. Okay, and now you can see uh, for that whole row we have the gray. And now we're going to go and use the format painter to just copy this thing to and just to check and see how that deleting that turns gray. Put the X back in there. The gray goes away. We'll delete that. We go to this cell, we delete this, we get orange, undo that, we'll go over to this cell, and we delete that number, we get yellow, undo that. Basically that uh, concludes the uh, error checking, uh, you could add other things in here, but uh, basically uh, this shows the, the method that we're using for doing that. Dr. Infrastructure dot com